Hey, it's Carrie Flatla here for this week's Friday Fire at Remax Real Estate Lethbridge and CarrieFlatla.com. Um, having some technical trouble again with Facebook Live, so I don't know if this is recording sideways or not. Um, it's doing all kinds of weird things, so we'll have to take a look at that after. But um, as we head into the weekend here, a colleague of mine asked me this morning if I could do a video talking about what not to do right before closing, but after you've gone final on the purchase of a home. And so you know I'm gonna talk about money, right? And financing. So this is sort of my financing lecture extended uh, past the pre-approval discussion. When you're qualifying for a mortgage and to get approved on a mortgage for a specific property, one set of guidelines that the lenders look at is your debt service ratios. So there's two things. There's your gross debt service ratio and your total debt service ratio. And if you want more information on this, just go to ratehub.ca. They have some really good tips and information about financing the purchase of a home. But your gross debt service ratio basically says, what are your housing costs, including your mortgage payment, property taxes, heating costs, half your condo fees if you have condo fees. What are those costs as a percentage of your annual income? And they wanna see that ratio less than 32%. That's a guideline. Your total debt service ratio takes all of those housing costs, adds on credit card interest, car payments, and loan expenses, basically takes all of your debt as a percentage of your annual income and they would like to see that ratio be less than 40%. So why does this matter if, hey, I got approved, I'm buying a house, we removed our financing conditions, we're good to go, we're gonna move into our house in a month, you know, let's rock and roll. Well, just because the bank gave you a commitment letter and said, we've approved 123 Any Street Lethbridge, and you can remove financing condition. Just because they said that does not mean that you are in the clear. And here's what I mean. And brokerages, lawyers, and home buyers have had this happen. Fortunately, it's not super often, but it is happening. The buyer gets excited because they're purchasing a home and everything's gone final. And they go and start buying furniture or they go sign up for a monthly payment on a new truck or they apply for a credit card so they can go buy a whole bunch of nice things for their home or a trip to Maui to celebrate. Don't do that. Do, do not do that. <laughs> Here's why. Because the lender can pull your credit file right before closing day. They can pull it a second time and just, you know, double check that the buyer has been behaving and that they've been a good buyer and that nothing has changed. So if they pull your credit and find out that you just spent $15,000 on a new furniture store credit card to buy some really cool stuff for your new house, that's going to affect your debt service ratios now and it's going to throw off all of the criteria, very strict criteria these days, that a buyer has to meet in order to get approved to buy a home. So, once your financing is approved on that property that you have fallen in love with and done all this work so that you could buy, don't do anything with your finances. Do not change your financial situation at all. Word to the wise. And guess, you know, there's more to this. This isn't just heartbreak about not being able to buy that house that, oh, I'm moving in in three days and now the bank has pulled my funding and I have no way to buy it. There are serious legal ramifications of this because now as the buyer, if you can't close per the closing day stated on the contract, do you think that the seller might be making some phone calls to their lawyer? Because the seller thinks that their house is sold and they've made appropriate plans and maybe purchased another home based on that. So 
all kinds of things can go wrong there. So if you have any questions, I am not a mortgage broker or a lawyer, uh, but if you have any questions about the home buying process in general, we can certainly help you out. 3827335 or go to carryflatwa.com. And happy house hunting in minus 30 this weekend. Take care and we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.